In many Western countries, October 31st is often seen as a time to get dressed up in a scary outfit and start hassling your neighbours for lollies and sweets. Or as the Americans call it, candy. The tradition of Halloween is fast catching on in Poland and the aforementioned kids play is often taken a step further amongst adult expats, typically with a gigantic bowl of funny punch. But outside of these costume parties and rollicking Halloween debauchery that's been imported from the US, things around here couldn't be more different. Those visiting Poland on November the 1st and 2nd of each year may be shocked to discover a rather somber atmosphere in cemeteries across the country at sundown. These are known nationally as Gen Wyszyskich Świętych and Gen Zadużne or Gen Wyszyskich Zmarłych. In English, these are known as All Saints Day and All Souls Day, respectively. Two days of the Catholic calendar year that are dedicated to prayer and paying tribute to the deceased by visiting their graves. The origins of these days of solemnity, as they're called, are somewhat mixed, though it's more often agreed upon that these traditions originated in the far east of the Roman Empire in the 4th century CE. At the time, however, these commemorations of Christian martyrs usually took place around April and May. Even today, Eastern Orthodox Christians similarly observe All Saints Sunday after Pentecost, in late May and early June. Although this custom had become fairly mainstream in Central and Western Europe by the 5th and 6th century CE, it didn't become official until Pope Gregory IV made All Saints Day an authorised holiday in the Catholic Church in the year 835 CE. The reasons behind November 1st becoming the designated date were heavily influenced by the customs of pagan Anglo-Saxons, Celts and Franks, specifically those that coincided with the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the darker half of the year. This period of celebration would later evolve into the Western European tradition of All Hallow Tide, which would begin on October 31st with All Hallows Eve, now known as Halloween, followed by All Saints Day on November 1st, and concluding on November 2nd with All Souls Day, a separate day of observance devoted to all other deceased individuals. It should be noted that the Catholic Church's success as a major world religion is often attributed to its ability to adapt Christian teachings to local traditions. And the pagan customs of Western Europe, as well as those of the Eastern European Slavs, are no different. In the early days of the newly christened Polish state, both All Saints and All Souls Day were referred to as Jadr, or Forefathers a pagan Slavic belief that the lost souls of ancestors would have the opportunity to travel back to their places of rest, specifically at that time of the year. Fire was believed to have a particular draw on dead souls, and bonfires would be set at major crossroads in between communities. These would guide wandering souls back to their graves, as well as offering warmth on their journey. Family members would also light fires in their homes to rouse any spirits that were lingering in the house. In the evening, they would also visit local cemeteries and light candles at the gravesides of family and friends, in the hope that their spirits would eventually find their rightful place of rest. As Christian influences later began to seep in, candles would become more symbolic, rather than serving as a literal spiritual beacon. And so, this aspect of old Slavic pagan traditions has remained in Poland into the present day. All Saints Day on November 1st has long been one of Poland's most important public holidays. As an outsider, you may not think lurking around a cemetery in the dark is the best way to spend the evening. But it's incredibly beautiful to see cemeteries lit up by candles all night long. We could go on about the unearthly glow of the immense candlelight the murmur of prayers and psalms, and the subtle smells of incense, fresh flowers and burning wax. But we really hope you have the opportunity to experience this Polish holiday by yourself. If you're interested in more English language content on Poland, make sure you hit the subscribe button and remember to click that bell for notifications.
We're also on Facebook and Instagram, so check out the tags below. Do zobaczenia!